today we're going to see the parts of a parabola. Now we need to remember that a parabola is a quadratic function. So what we have right here, it's the quadratic parent function. This means this is the parabola or the quadratic function that it's the most simple one and it's what we base all of comparisons from. The formula is y equals x to the second power. What this should always remind you is that every time that you have an equation when you have an x to the second power, you should remember that what you have is a quadratic function. Now, a parabola is a U-shaped line. This U-shaped line, it can come in different forms. It can be facing up, it can be facing down. That does not matter as long as it looks like a U, inverted or just facing up, it will be a parabola. But the parabolas have different parts on them that we look into. For example, we have our axis of symmetry. Our axis of symmetry is this line right here. We can call it the uh, imaginary line that cuts the parabola in half. This is very interesting because this line only touches your quadratic function, your parabola, in one point right here that we call the vertex. The vertex, we describe it as the point where the parabola changes direction or changes growth. So for example, in this case, this parabola, I notice, is going down. But as soon as it touches the vertex, it starts going up. Another point or another part of the parabola that we always look into is called the x-intercepts or solutions. Now we also call this the zeros. And what they are is nothing but where the parabola crosses the x-axis. Okay? So we're going to start looking into those. For example, here I, we have four different parabolas. Out of these four right now, we're going to concentrate on looking for the zeros. So I look at my first parabola, and I notice that my parabola only touches the x-axis in this point. For this parabola, there's only one zero. And that zero in this case is the point zero comma zero. Now we're going to move on to the next parabola. We have this parabola right here. In this parabola, I notice that first of all, I have two zeros here and here. Both of them are zeros. Same as in this parabola down here. I notice one, two. So here I have one zero, here is my other zero. And then at last I have this other parabola, very interesting parabola. I know it's a parabola because it looks like a U, but look, this parabola never crosses the x-axis. So for this parabola, we say no zero. This is not the only part of the that we're interested in. We also have the vertex. Like we mentioned before, the vertex is the point where the parabola changes direction. So in this case, I have my parabola coming down, and I notice that right here, my parabola goes up. So this right here, that's my vertex. In this case, it's zero, zero. I go to the next parabola right here, next to it. I have my parabola. Notice how this one is going in a different direction. It's going up, then it starts going down. Well, this one right here, that is called my vertex. In this case, my vertex is 1 comma 7. Now, we want something that we need to pay attention is I notice that 
here I have my vertex in my first parabola but I notice how my vertex it happens to be the lowest y value that doesn't matter it's still with the, everything changes okay if I compare it to this one where is the highest one well it's still my vertex because that's where we change directions then I have this right here this parabola right here is going up and then starts going down right at that point therefore this is my vertex and in this case my vertex is negative 2 comma 4 and in my last parabola here is my vertex Now something that happens with vertex is sometimes we have the lowest and the highest. This vertex right here, our first vertex, this is called a minimum. This vertex on the next one, I notice that now is my highest point, my highest y value on my parabola. Well then, this is going to be called my maximum. This right here as being my highest. This vertex is going to be a maximum. And this vertex is going to be a minimum. So we can say that the vertex is either the minimum or the maximum. But it's always the point where the parabola got a change in direction. The last part of the problem that we're going to talk about today is going to be the axis of symmetry. That imaginary line that cuts the parabola in two. I notice right here, this is my vertex. So I know my axis of symmetry is going to touch the vertex. But the axis of symmetry then will be this right here. It is a line, so we're going to name it as a line. In this case, the axis of symmetry for this parabola is x equals 0. For the next one, I notice this is my vertex. Well, remember, your axis of symmetry always touches your vertex. Therefore, this is that imaginary line. This is the line. So this is x equals 1. That is the line that we're describing. Again, I have my parabola going up then down, but right here is my vertex. Remember? Then this is exactly where the axis of symmetry is going to touch, and this one happens to be at x equals negative 2. In our last parabola, here is my vertex. So my axis of symmetry is going to touch that point, and that will be my axis of symmetry, in this case, at x equals 1 as well. I hope you find this very helpful.